Hello there, welcome back to my channel Juella, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. As you can tell from the title, this is January's Rocker Box, guys. So, yeah, let's just dive in. For those of you who don't know, Rocker Box, monthly beauty subscription box. I am roped into 12 months, which I seriously wish I wasn't, but never mind. I'm not too sure how long I've got left with it, but it is what it is. At the end of it, I will not be renewing it. And I hate saying that because I used to be such a fan of Rocker Box, but over the last year, they have literally just went, meow, they have nosedived for me. But yeah, so never mind. So yeah, this is January's Rocker Box, guys. Comes in this recyclable pink box every month, which is great because you can just pop it in your recycling bin. And the first thing you'll come across is your little leaflet about the products and a little sneak peek on the back for next month. The sneak peek is a product by Olverum. I think that's skincare. Is it skincare? Although it says it's a pillow mist. There's no picture. It just says Olverum. And it says it's a pillow mist. I love a good pillow mist. I'm not going to lie. I love it. So I can't wait to see what that smells like. So anyway, I will literally just refer to this for prices and possibly sizes. Um, hopefully that will stay put there and we'll go sliding down. Um, yeah, get prepared for a little bit of a rant though, guys. And I'm not ranting just because it's a box that I've sort of gone off a little bit lately. I'm ranting for a perfectly good reason. Let's just hope I don't have a coffin fit while I'm busy ranting. <clears throat> but no, in my luck, I will. Anyway, I'm armed here with my glass of juice just in case. So, the first item is what I'm going to have a little good old rant about. Um, I know that one of my friends, Kat, she's already done a rant about it and she's got the exact same valid points as I have about this. So, this is Your Good Health Co Daily Collagen Capsules. Okay, so I do not think that vitamin pills belong in beauty boxes. Yes, they're kind of along that kind of theme slightly, but yeah, they don't belong for many reasons. Some people don't want to take them. Some people don't need to take them. And some people can really cannot take them because of medical interactions with medications or just because they have a bad reaction to them in general because they're not safe for everybody to take. So these are worth $12.99 apparently. And look at the size of them. I'm going to bring it up to the camera so you can see. And I pray you can see the size of these. They're like bloody horse tranquilizers. They are massive. Do you know what it is? I don't think you're going to see. But I'll try again. They are mahusive. I don't know if you can see that. But they are bloody huge. Just wait for the light to come back. So yeah, I will not be taking these. I can't take them. I do have certain medication that I take, which I've got to be very careful what I, what I take when it comes to like supplements, vitamins and pills. And yeah, they do not belong in a box. There is no room for me for vitamin pills in beauty boxes. Big fat no. Capital N, capital zero. Zero? Cap capital N, capital O. Not zero, Julie. Honestly, my brain's gone to mush with COVID lately. Anyway, so yeah, really not a good product for me, guys. Some people might like to see these kind of products in here. And I must say, when it comes to collagen, it's better that you ingest it as opposed to just putting it on your skin because it will do you more good. But some of these pills can do you more harm than good. You've got to be so careful and always check with your prescriber, your doctor, to check that you can take them. Even if you're not on any medication, please look into it and check with a pharmacist or your doctor. So yeah, really not impressed to see these guys. And I know I'm not the only one saying this. There's a few people now saying the same things. As soon as I saw them, I mean, I knew they were going to be in here. But as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, these will be going in either a giveaway or a cell box or something or someone who wants them do you know what i mean so yeah not great not a great start guys anyway next product at first i was super thrilled to say this this is by vita masks which is quite an affordable nice mask brand and it is a super green detox facial and it's a three-step one so you've got your mask then you've got some kind of well at first you've got a some kind of scrub You've got a facial scrub, a clear face scrub, then you've got your mask, then you've got a seaweed moisturiser. Now, like I say, at first I saw this and I thought it looked quite nice. And by the way, it's worth £7, £6.99. So I thought, yay, a different type of mask. Really looking forward to it because I do quite enjoy a sheet mask. However, I looked at the ingredients and I thought, oh, bugger. So it's got green tea in it. I'm not supposed to use things with green tea in. Don't know why, but it just doesn't 
doesn't suit my skin well and charcoal charcoal i have had two breakouts to charcoal masks in the past so i'll probably not be using it i was absolutely devastated so this will be getting passed on it'll go in a giveaway i'll get passed on but i'm gutted because i really wanted to try it but it's definitely not worth a possible breakout for me and when i say breakout i mean allergic reaction not just a few spots or something i mean literally an allergic reaction so yeah so good that i can't try it but never mind so yeah second product not great for me but do you know what it'll probably be great for a lot of people it's just my skin's super sensitive at the minute so next product again bit of a marmite thing it's cbd i'm not really a fan of cbd stuff again i've got to be careful this is by a brand called otto and it's a ritual cbd hand balm worth 19 pounds and it's only about 30 mils it's not very big 19 quid for a little hand balm i would like to think it was going to be super duper amazing now there is a seal on it but because i'm funny about cbd i don't think it'll penetrate under the skin barrier but still yeah i don't know i might pop that in a giveaway i haven't quite decided yet so i'm not going to open it but if you've opened it and tried it let me know what you think um because i'm not supposed to use cbd products um but maybe because it's a hand balm it might be all right but again i just wasn't thrilled it's nice to see a brand i've not seen before though so i'm not going to grumble about that i do like the fact it's something different something new but for me, keep the CBD to a minimum, guys. Um, if any of the CEOs are watching this of the beauty boxes, which I'm sure you're absolutely not, then yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of more along the lines of I just want something that smells nice and feels nice. It doesn't have to have any kind of super duper things like CBD in it. But anyway, so that's a third product. Not really, not really bowled over, guys. The next product, I'm going to have another rave, but I actually quite like this product, so don't be fooled. I like it. But there's a few points I don't like about it. So this is by May Beauty, May Cosmetics. This is a brand that I was introduced to via Rockerbox about a year or two ago. With a lipstick, slightly different colour but the same kind of lipstick. With an extortionate price tag of £25. For a lipstick you get one in, from MAC cheaper than that. Do you know what I mean? Like who's going to pay for a brand they've never heard of versus MAC for more money? <coughs> Not me anyway so yeah this is a lipstick it is a matte lipstick in the shade tea rose the website if you go on it like i did i think it was last year i haven't been on it since so maybe it's different they literally only do about two products this and a banana setting powder i think that's all they do lipstick and there's only a few shades or at least there was last time i looked nice little bullet style very much like a mac lipstick to look at and the smell of it it smells like mac lipsticks smells really super sweet don't know if you can see the color there but it's just a nice kind of dusky pink nude so it's definitely a wearable shade for i would say most people to be honest don't think it matters what your skin tone is i think that you'll get away with that lipstick color the shade is really beautiful and it does feel nice on the lips so i have used it once or twice since i got this box just to see what it was like i wasn't sure if i was going to keep it at first because i thought I've got loads of lipsticks this kind of colour. And what colour do I always wear? Generally corals and reds. But yeah, I do like a nice nude sometimes. So it smells nice, feels nice, wears quite nice. But extortionate price tag, £25. Website, a little bit dodgy, May Cosmetics. Yeah, I'm not too sure. But it's kind of okay. It's kind of alright. For me, the best product in the box this month absolutely and pretty much one of the only ones i'm probably keeping so i've got to justify the box somehow and keep something haven't i so yeah that is a may cosmetics lipstick and i believe everyone gets the same shade because like i say i don't think they do many shades the final product oh my goodness it's a filler item this is by magnetone and it's the wipeout swipes really super useful to have in because i do still use cotton wood pads which i know is not great for the environment but they're ne necessary for me for certain things but i do use the reusable ones as well for certain things especially things like toning so yeah you get two of these in here but they have been done to death guys completely done to death you can just put water on them and remove your makeup but 
I don't know, I just think they're a bit faffy. And then you pop them in, well, I would put them all in like a pillowcase and put them in the washing machine and get everything washed, like the cloths and the muslin cloths and stuff, and wash them all together. But yeah, it's just a little bit kind of underwhelming. I mean, yes, they're kind of handy, but they're a total filler item. And apparently they're worth £8 for two of these. <laughs> Had a win. Boop. £8 for two of them little things. No way. Maybe for five, but not for two. E excuse my terrible Geordie dialect lingo. Anyway, so that is everything in this month's Rocker Box. Not a good one, guys, for me. Not a good one. Let me know what your thoughts are, though. So let's just quickly recap the items and then summarise and final thoughts on the box. The Magnetone London Wipes. Is it Magnetone London? Yes, it is Magnetone London. <laughs> Thought I was saying something that was not there there. <laughs> but anyway. <coughs> Sorry. Let's start coughing again. So we've got the little wipe out swipes. Not impressed. We've got the May Cosmetics lipstick. Love the colour. Love the smell of it. Productivity is fine too. It's just got a bit of a strange price tag considering it's something that's never really been heard of much. £25. That black price tag doesn't suit it. £5.99, £6.99 maybe, £25, no. No, 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 no. Then we have got the Otto CBD Hand Balm. Extortion type price tag again, £19. I think that's a little bit expensive. Unless it said L'Occitane and was slightly bigger, which it doesn't, but never mind. Um, so yeah, not thrilled with that, but it's nice to see a different brand. Then we've got the Vita Masks sheet mask. As I say, I was super thrilled about it, really excited, and then thought, oh crap, I can't use it. But never mind, someone else is going to really enjoy it, I'm sure. And <laughs> the collagen capsules, which are like horse tranquilizer pills. Um, yeah, definitely a mute item for me. Um, yeah, rubbish. Shouldn't be in here. Absolute no, no, no. Capital N, capital O said zero before didn't I capital N capital no capital no guys um yeah big big no big cross big no you know if you're on Britain's Got Talent and they've got big red crosses that gets a big red cross for me because they need to have an opt-out option you know how they do with the tannin products because tannin products are not suitable for everybody people of certain skin colors do not want tanning items well this to me is even more important than that because this is something that you ingest that you take which is definitely not suitable for everybody. It needs to have an opt out option. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me there. Hopefully you do. And for those of you who want to opt in for them, fantastic, thumbs up, great for you, you know, happy for you. But for those who want to opt out, yeah, we need an opt out option guys for vitamins. Please let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. So yeah, that's everything guys. I'm not thrilled with this month's box. I'm keeping like maybe one item, one possibly two. Not great, really, really not great, not chuffed. Roll on and see what next month's rocker box has got for February Valentine's month. Hopefully, it's a lot nicer than this one and a lot better. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.